welcome back to the hay meadow my name is Haley, and uh, this is my channel where you will find something interesting to uh, watch and laugh at i am sure i'll talk about sewing and i'll do unboxings of fabric talk about the latest things that i've made life in general it gets off track pretty quickly so you never know what you're gonna get it's like a box of chocolates here yeah i can probably assure you of that so i know i've been away a little bit haven't i not through any you know real desire or just have been busy i'm back at work now so you know all that time off it's taken me a little bit to get back into the swing of things if you heard that that was freya going out of the little doggy door that we have um in the sewing room sliding door mainly for Sia, but um, Freya still manages to limbo her way through there, uh, surprisingly, actually. Now, um, it's quite warm here today, so if you hear any dripping sounds, my air conditioner in this room is leaking, so Chris is going to have to have a look at that, but for now, I've got um, a little bowl around the other side <laughs> catching the drips, so... Apologies if that's a bit off-putting, but oh well, that's life, isn't it? That's just the way it is. So, we're here because I received my Beyond the Pink Door January box. I know it's February, but uh, my January box um, on Thursday. Now, you might be thinking that, oh, that's a bit late. Well, there's actually, we received two boxes in January, the December and the January one, so... I can only imagine how difficult that is for Andrea to get out and anyone who subscribes to um, Andrea's box and receives it and keeps up with um, everything in the world of Beyond the Pink Door, you'll know that she's a very busy little lady at the moment. So, so we're going to have a look at that, but first I probably should talk about this dress that I'm wearing, which you've probably just seen me do the twirls in. So this is the So Different Everyday Chic Dress. Now, I know, I know anyone who's already made this or knows this pattern is already going, hang on a minute, what's that hole going on there business? What's this hole going on here business? We'll talk about that. So this is the Everyday Chic Dress. I was looking for something nice and simple, um, an everyday dress for work basically so I wanted it to have a nice length I didn't want it to be too frilly flouncy all that sort of stuff something you can throw on and look um, nicely maintained <laughs> um, when it's a warm day so this is my wearable toile literally hot off the sewing machine and I can say hot off the sewing machine because it's been about 30 31 here today so it's been a little warm but there you go so what do I think of it I really like it it's a lovely dress I made a boo-boo here with the front um the front facing and where you put the slit in you don't necessarily have to do the slit um when you put the facing on you you know slice slice it down the front and then cut into the corners i cut both the facing and the actual dress so whoopsies um and i didn't even realize my mistake until i had sewn the facing folded everything over and pressed it and went oh that's not supposed to look like that hmm so i did sleep on it i was thinking you know i do have enough fabric i could recut um the front piece but then i thought mm, i was really careful with my sewing so it's a lovely finish it's a really nice neat finish so i thought let me try it on let me have a look i was afraid that it would be too low and be a bit booby but no it's actually quite nice so I'm going to go with it. I'm going to work with it um, and, yeah, see how we go. So I will, you know, make the correct um, the correct way next time. But, you know, 
this is just living and learning and um, getting on with it really so the fabric that I've used now you'll see that I've used two different sizes of the gingham uh, but it's actually the same fabric so I know that I saw specifically at in the beyond the pink door store um, a few months back the double-sided gingham so one side in a small check the other side in a larger check and I thought oh my god that stuff is fabulous I didn't buy any and I did kick myself and then I stumbled across it in spotlight now when I say stumbled it was an accidental stumble because I was looking for some fabric as a gift and I wanted um, to gift this person um, some fabric to for some summer items so the fabric is actually um, a double I would say a double gauze but it's not how we would know a double gauze and when I say we I mean uh, this more so this more um, thicker type of double gauze so this is also a double gauze um, but this is a more softer version um, so this gauze is more in line with like a muslin so when you go and you buy a, a gift for a new baby and you might buy the little pack of muslins to wrap the new baby in and it's that very fine um, sheer uh, cotton type of fabric that's what this is but it's actually uh, two pieces together um, so you've got a normal it's not soft and cloud like that other double gauze it's actually uh, quite lovely so I've got some off cuts here I probably could have picked a smaller piece but you know how it goes I just picked up the first piece um, so if I go like this this is where I've cut it so that's one side and then because I've cut it on the fold here's the other so you can see that that oh you can't really see that can you because it's quite there we go that probably gives try and you know not look at the uh, fact that it's you can see the larger check on the other side I wonder if I double it over whether you'll get a better a better idea I should have practiced this first perhaps you know me off the cuff rough and ready how's that oh mm, mm, slightly better so yes so one side is the large check and one side is the fine check so yes so the pockets are enormous um, my fingertips only just touch the bottom of the pocket so that's you know um, I was watching a tutorial a YouTube tu tutorial and I should have I will quickly look it up and then cut it in so I followed the video tutorial by Saturday Night Stitch which is a fantastic tutorial she uses the most magnificent vintage machine it's just divine um, and she goes through making up um, the dress now in saying I followed the video tutorial it's obvious that I didn't follow all the video tutorial I got a bit ahead of myself and thought I knew what I was doing but turns out I didn't there you go um, however I did um, follow along with that and it's a fantastic tutorial so if you're interested in sewing up the everyday chic dress then I highly recommend um, that sewing tutorial I'll link it in the description below um, and yeah so there we go so this as I said is a wearable twile I do already have another fabric uh, ready to go to make another one gorgeous floral so you'll get to see that at some time in the future um, but yeah okay now okay we've talked about what I'm wearing let's get into the unboxing because I'm sure you're more interested in that so here we are lovely lovely pink packaging ready to rock and roll so we'll employ Russell in his usual role of opening cutting open the box 
beautiful, beautiful box that it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Scissors. Oh, that shouldn't have taken that long. Let's have a look. So I'm very excited. I've heard lots of really good um, positive feedback, but haven't looked at any. Ooh, <gasps> wow, this is a bit special. Look at that. How nice does that look? Oh, ooh. I wonder if it's an animal print. I guess I'm about to find out. So actually I'll take this out so that I can move this because I always have that awkward moment where I'm trying to get myself together and it's going badly and anyway Russell 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 oh oh wow oh <laughs> that is oh that is gorgeous absolutely beautiful you're gonna love this okay Start with a fresh page, which is exactly what we want to do. So we have box 24. I didn't even try and think of what how uh, what um, box it was. We have 2.5 meters of three different colorways. Now it doesn't say what it is. Um, there's a QR code which takes you to an ebook, um, which will have all of the information about the fabric. It'll also have um, pattern recommendations, um, all sorts of things, makes from previous boxes. Um, great, I love the ebook, it's fabulous. So we are starting with a fresh page and it is the beginning of the year, so of course. Okay, so what do we have? We'll start with the edible and we have an Irish oat granola bar, fully loaded. Okay, so it's the food anth oh, that was <laughs> there's a, there's a bo bobbly bit just on the inside there, and my finger couldn't, uh, my finger went all funny. So we've got it from the Foods of Athenry. Nice size, it's lovely. It's, looks like it's got lots of fruit in there. So here we go, Irish Oat Granola Bar, fully loaded fiber filled granola bar packed with the goodness of oats honey seeds sultanas and more yum okay so for those it is egg free gluten free wheat free so if you are celiac or vegetarian or um, any of the things any of the list of things that people are these days then this one might be right up your alley so yum look forward to that one Okay, we have a new marking pencil. So this is a white dressmaker's pencil. Um, I happen to use these ones, these exact ones. I've got one on the go at the moment. Um, I, I normally have a lot of trouble using pencils, but what I started to do just off the cuff was just dampening the tip when I'm making the mark and it seems to work much better. So on... Uh, I first started just licking the tip and I thought that's probably not a good idea you know I remember back in the day the ladies that used to paint you know the um, dials of things with the luminous paint and how they got cancer and you know because they were absorbing it and thought licking a pencil probably isn't a good idea so a little just a little damp sponge or something like that works perfectly um, next up we have my heart beats to sew now i think these are little stickers yes they are little stickers okay some little stickers there so i'm going to open that up because it looks like there are different stickers so there's four different varieties and i have seen um, a lot of people decorate their sewing machines with stickers i'm not that person I'm the person who didn't do that. <laughs> okay, so we have My Heart Beats to Sew. We have a gorgeous little buttons. 
Then we have a dressmaker's mannequin and some haberdashery essentials. Oh, and then we all play Bob and Roulette, so um, that reminds me of Bob and Roulette. I recently explained Bob and Roulette to Rianne, <laughs> who has now bought herself an overlocker. She's just powering ahead. Amazing, amazing. She hasn't touched it yet, but she's got one. So we're going to have another sewing day where we'll have a look at um, using the overlocker. I've made her use mine to finish the edges of her fabric before she takes it home to wash it. Wash it. Um, so yes, yeah, so she's not quite as nervous as me, but there you go. Okay, getting down to brass tacks, we have a Gutterman sew all thread, which is in a black. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is triple zero. Triple zero. I amaze myself sometimes. Okay, are we ready? This is gorgeous. Now, Russell, 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 as you know, uh, Australia, we are currently in summer, February, so we're in the last month of our summer. So we'll be heading into autumn soon, which means winter makes. So this has come at the perfect time, and it is this absolutely gorgeous. I'm going, I think that it's a viscose. It feels like a viscose. Look at that. That is just beautiful. The drape is just lovely. So it's a black background with like a cobalt. Um, there's a few different shades of blue and there's also gray and white. I really like that. That is really, really lovely. Could be another everyday chic dress here. So we'll pop it up on the mannequin. Now, one of the reasons for making the everyday chic dress is because you can get it out of 2.5 meters. So I've really been trying to find patterns that make the best usage out of the meterage that I'm getting out of my boxes because because the fabrics are all so beautiful, I want to use, I want it to be, I want to use as much of it as possible. I know I can make um, bias binding with leftovers and things like that. Um, I obviously use the bigger size ranges in patterns, which means that I don't have the opportunity to get more than one garment out of 2.5 meters most of the time. Um, so I'd really like to make the best use out of it. So hence why I tried this pattern. So I've got a few patterns like that um, that I'll be trying out in the near future. Look at that, that is beautiful. Actually, that would probably that would also make a beautiful um, Be Mine balloon sleeve blouse as well. That's lovely. I wonder if I could make a dress out of that. Have you seen the latest Style Arc um, pattern? Very similar to the Be Mine balloon sleeve blouse. The sleeves um, are very reminiscent of that. Um, and the you know the wide collar they do it does have a v-neck as well um yes so i did see that come out the other day i thought oh okay because i'd already been thinking about lengthening the be mine balloon sleeve uh, blouse into a dress so you never know you never know but that's not what we're talking about we're talking about this beautiful fabric at the moment and that is absolutely stunning so as I was saying, we are about to go into autumn and winter. So this is going to be absolutely perfect if I can get it to stay up. I'm trying to show you the drape. It's lovely and fluid. <laughs> so there we go. Another gorgeous box from the wonderful Beyond the Pink Door. Now I know that Andrea is knee deep in moving at the moment. If you don't know, if you haven't heard, Andrea is in the process of relocating from Ireland to England. So that's happening at the moment. So 
I, I don't envy her at all having moved at this time or you know um, January of last year myself moving is just adventurous and stressful isn't it so I do have another two items I wanted to talk about so if you were just here for the unboxing then thank you I'll see you next time now recently I was contacted by one of my absolutely gorgeous subscribers Libby who messaged me and asked me if I would be interested in some fabric from a previous Dahlia Society box because she wouldn't use it it wasn't going to be it's not to her taste and she wouldn't use it so when she told me what it was I was absolutely overjoyed and over the moon um, to gladly take this fabric off of her hands now Libby wouldn't accept any uh, recompense at all no postage no nothing so when the package arrived I was very excited um, it included a wonderful card that she had put a handwritten note in I won't read it to you um, so Queen's Cliff in Victoria is where Libby is from so that was lovely um, and she wanted she felt that it was important that the fabric went to someone that she knew who would use it and she also um had some lovely words in there um which yes made me feel very appreciated so thank you libby now all that talk and carry on you just want to see the fabric i know you do um and it was this the gorgeous blue broderie anglaise from the on plein air box now I was overjoyed <laughs> she also included the thread that came with it which I wasn't expecting um, so I now have five meters of this stunning blue broderie on glaze so I can't tell you how excited I am about that because I, I've had it sitting there and broderie on glaze for me is one of those you know like oh my god it has to be the right pattern has to be the right pattern because I love Broderie on Glaze. So that's my next mission is to find something that is going to do justice to this beautiful fabric and also probably find a lining fabric. So something to wear because the holes are quite big um, in this one. So we'll just like this so as you can see the holes are quite big so to have that with just jandies on probably isn't going to work for me so there we go so yes as you can imagine i was absolutely bursting at the scene <laughs> about that one so again thank you libby you are a superstar now the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is actually tell you about a new channel that I stumbled across recently so it's another uh, new Australian sewing channel however this one's a little bit different now the channel is the sweary sewist and Nicole who um, whose channel it is she is a she's more of a craft sewer so all of her or most of her sewing is crafting rather than garment sewing now i know that um, i am predominantly a garment sewer but i know that there are a lot of people out there who do all kinds of sewing so she has um, about a handful of videos out now she only has four subscribers now as you can hear from Sia that is an absolute travesty so please go on over and have a look check out Nicole's channel tell her I sent you um, and um, yeah give her a subscribe so she has a uh, an Etsy shop and she also attends markets so her videos are talking about what she's currently making uh, she's doing unboxings from Timu which is all crafting related so it's you know products that she is then going to go and use in her crafting um, for her Etsy and market stalls um, she goes through and does some things with you so she was doing some uh, she did an unboxing of a oh, I should have written it down it's a like a cricket machine and you 
you actually hold it down it's a huge big heat press thing apologies i'm sorry to those people who who use those things it's not my thing so anyway now another thing she is also into cars which i am too which you wouldn't know but i am <laughs> um so yes you'll find a bit of um like uh, car content as well so she is a lovely true blue Aussie um, so if you're interested um, go and check her out she's absolutely lovely so there you go now that is pretty much it today I think we've unboxed I've talked about um, this pattern you've seen my new fabric and I've introduced a new channel to you what more can you ask on a Saturday afternoon no I can't think of anything else so there we go so what have I got up next well I've got lots of plans I've always got lots of plans um, what happens is totally different though so I will be making more of this particular dress so you will see some of those um, and you may probably see some more you know patterns looking at um, getting the most out of out of your fabric it's not a series it's nothing like that it's just me bumbling through life and trying to make the most of my beautiful fabric well there we go that's it it's been lovely having you here in my sewing room again and i look forward to your next visit i'll see you then bye